in this Advent season, we think in particular of the Son of God, the one who became God with us. Or as the scholar pastor Eugene Peterson says, God moved into the neighborhood. When the Son of God, the eternal Son of God, took on flesh, he moved into the neighborhood. Well, in the book of Proverbs, wisdom is personified. Wisdom is given personality. And there are many scholars who think that when wisdom is personified in that way, in the book of Proverbs, that it's talking about the Son of God. Before the Son of God takes on flesh and moves into our neighborhood, wisdom is As Paul speaks about from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, Jesus is that wisdom of God. Christ became the power of God and the wisdom of God. Well, recently, as I've been studying the book of Proverbs with some men in my home group, we've been struck by how in Proverbs 8 and 9 especially, both wisdom and folly or foolishness, they are personified. They take on personality. So folly or foolishness is unruly, lacks sense. Folly is easily persuaded by enticements and unhealthy appetites. Well, then wisdom, also personified, gives this invitation. So listen to Proverbs chapter 9, where wisdom invites us to say, Come and eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways and live and walk in the way of insight. Then the author goes on to say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. I think as we end this year, as we look back and reflect on a difficult year and look forward, perhaps in many ways looking forward, maybe even with a bit of uncertainty and trepidation, that we need wisdom as we reflect and as we look forward. Even wisdom on how do we handle ourselves during this holiday period. Now, in one sense, what we see happening right now is a lot of people lacking just common sense and using common sense. So to be very honest, the three W's that we learned back in March, wearing a mask, watching our distance, and washing our hands, Things that were so obvious and so clear, and yet many of us have stopped doing that so well. And as we look around in Kenya and around the world, so many people are not following those common sense things. And yet we do get into situations where we need wisdom of God. Where do I go for the holidays? Do I interact with family? When I get into certain situations, what do I do? But can I just encourage us, even just in this simple way of wisdom, church, that we need to wear our mask, to watch our distance, and to wash our hands. Just as I spoke with one expert this week who said that if people were doing those three W's, we would be in such a different place in Kenya and around the world, but people are failing to do those things. So church, in this season especially, let's love our neighbors and use common sense, but also wisdom as we encounter these different situations. Well, whether it's with things like COVID that is so ever present or other issues in your life where wisdom is required, can I encourage you in this season to take time, perhaps with some extra days off, to sit at the feet of the wisdom of God, to sit at the feet of Jesus, the incarnate Son of God, who is our enfleshed Prince of Peace, who moved into the neighborhood. He's waiting to have that time with you. He wants to give you Wisdom. He says, if any of you lack wisdom, ask for it. Believe and not doubt, and I will give it to you. So church, be blessed. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. I'm going to be praying for you for wisdom as you face a lot of different situations in your life. God bless.